Hello and welcome back to this walkthrough of the KSP career in 1.0. My name is Needy Root and let's get cracking. Today we've got a quite a schedule ahead of us and uh, I'd like to cover something quickly uh, before we uh, jump in. With the missions, generally you want to combine as many of them as you can. So for example, I've got uh, an Ike kind of contract going. So I need to orbit Ike get science data from around space, around Ike, science data from the surface, and explore Ike. So these obviously are mutually co um, complementary, shall we say. So generally you want to try and get them together. Now I've got this little lander in, uh, in orbit of Duna. Now assuming you've got here, you should be able to get there. It's pretty simple really, and let's just see how we go. Because Ike is so close, and it's gravitational field rather large you don't need terribly much to make it Oop. so 129 100 let's have a look at a few different trajectories here see which one we like the most I like this one actually that one's really nice. So we'll run with that. Now I'm assuming that you can get out here to Duna. Now the other thing that we probably need to cover is that uh, when you're doing these uh, interplanetary missions, generally you want to uh, kill as many birds with the one stone as possible. So if you're coming out here, pack an Ike lander, and an Ike lander doesn't have to be anything special. Like I put landing gear on this, but don't really need it. The gravity of Ike is quite low. So we're going to be able to put this thing down kind of easily. Uh, we'll warp in. Okay, let's go. Let's do the burn. Transfer out. Should be relatively straightforward close that off because there is an intercept well, there would be very very shortly there it is 4,000 is a bit low for me 16,000 much better okay so let's walk to here let's get this landing done now landing on Ike is going to be very very similar to landing on the moon or Minmus question is, are we going to be in sunlight? I hope to God that we are. We may be in an eclipse here. Oh, that's, uh, that's not great timing. Well, we should be okay, actually. So we're going to get to Periapsis. <clears throat> Burn and decrease our orbit. There it is, we've got capture. So let's have a look and see what our orbit looks like. What I'd like to do is just get a stable orbit. Something like that looks good. Now I don't think that touches the planet anywhere, so that's fine. So you can see that we're already starting to achieve some of these um, missions. Now, what I would like to do is log the temperature and I'll transmit that back because that's going to complete another contract. There we go, science data from around space and explore Ike. It's another one of the missions. So you can see here that we're starting to tick these off. We just need to get down, land on Ike and we'll be happy. Now what we'd like to do is go back to the space center because after you achieve orbit around the body, it's always good to go back and check what else has popped up, because... Oh, damn it. Seriously? Anyway, I'm going to land on the surface of Ike, and I'm going to do that instead. It wants us to return to Kerbin. Not ideal. Because I didn't pack a parachute. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's get this done. 
because it shouldn't be very hard at all. Right, you can go away. Oops, not you, you. Now what we'll do is we'll come around this side and then we'll do our landing on the light side of the planet here, somewhere. So we'll warp here. That's a good sized crater actually. File that away, that might be cool to explore. Okay, so we're here, let's go retrograde, get the deorbit burn done. There we go, we'll actually... Yep, I like that. Alrighty, let's just ride the vector down now. Okay, we're at 11,000 metres, 5,000 metres, what we'll do is we'll start thinking about a burn now, because that will disappear quite quickly, that speed. Now there's actually something cool called a constant altitude burn which is where you actually stay above the marker. And what that does is that preserves your vertical height a little bit. So if you find yourself coming in too hot, go the other way. Come this side. So you will wash off some horizontal speed, but you'll um, wash off more vertical speed than anything. As you can see, we've got a huge thrust of weight right now. Five hundred meters off the deck. And that's actually gonna null itself out, so the the horizontal speed will sort itself out largely. Two hundred meters off the deck will pick up the burn. Just take it nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go. And we're down. Now all we need to do is log the temperature and send it back home. And that will complete a whole bunch of contracts for us. See that? So we've just uh, done the science data. We've explored Ike many times. So now our money and our science is in great position. So thank you very much for joining me for this episode. It was probably a little bit of a short one, probably covering ground that we've already covered with landing on the moon. I appreciate that it's probably not uh, not the best, but it is what it is. And, you know, we've, we've got to do these contracts. We've got to achieve them. Uh, and now what I can do, right, is I can continue unlocking nodes. And, you know, overall, my science tree isn't that far through. I'm not I'm not a huge way into the into the game. I think that this would be good to have. Uh, what we'll do is we'll unlock these two because they're just hanging around and that's that. So I look forward to seeing the next one where we'll attempt to uh, well we're going to return skip the return of craft from Ike mission uh, because I think that one is probably easy and we'll go looking for the next one after that.